Hey guys, welcome back to another video, Dusty here. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to restore your iPhone from an iCloud backup. So a couple of things you need to know first. So I'm on my old phone right now and the first thing you need to do is go to your iCloud backup section to make sure that you have a recent backup. So in order to do that, go to your settings. So tap on the settings app there and then go at the top where you see your name or whatever your name is on your Apple account there at the very top, tap on that there. And then you're gonna see something below there that says iCloud. Tap on the iCloud option there and you're gonna see a bunch of things here, but you need to scroll down to where you see iCloud backup. It's gonna have a little circular rewind button on top of a green icon. Tap on that, make sure it's turned on. And then once you're ready, you're gonna see at the very bottom, it says backup now. That's how you create a fresh new uh, iCloud backup of the current state of your iPhone. Uh, and then it will actually tell you the last successful backup was at say 4.38 PM in my case, or it may say never, which is a very scary sign. You want to make sure that you have a very recent iCloud backup, especially if we're trying to restore from that backup. So make sure you've done that. Now you may want to skip this part. If you've already done all this, I just wanted to show you guys how to do that first and foremost to make sure that this little green tab here is turned to green. So we definitely don't want to stop the iCloud backups. Make sure that is turned on. Make sure we have an iCloud backup that we can go from. Now that we have that out of the way, there's going to be a few different people who watch this video. Number one, you've just bought a brand new phone, you've opened it up at home, and you didn't activate it at your provider store or in the Apple store. Uh, basically for you, you can open the phone up and it will send you through the prompts and it will show you this screen here where it'll say restore from iCloud backup, set up as a new phone, all of these things. Now, if that's you, you just follow all of the prompts here on the actual iPhone screen and it'll set it up in a couple of minutes and you're good to go. Now, some of you may have said set up as a new phone and you open it up and it hasn't been restored or whatever and there's nothing on it, nothing's transferred over and you want to restore from an iCloud backup. Now, if that's you, you've got to take the next few steps that I'm about to show you. Um, so if that's the case, or maybe you've bought the phone off of eBay, whatever it may be, you put in a new SIM card and you need to restore from an actual iCloud backup. Now, obviously you've got to be signed into your Apple account or else when you go to your settings tab over here, you're not going to see your name and your email address and all of your settings that you've already set up within your Apple account. This is your old iTunes account, by the way. So whatever your app store username and password is, that's what you're going to enter to get up your account here in case you've forgotten how to do that. Now that we have all of that out of the way, we want to go to our settings app again. In the general tab, you want to scroll all the way down to where you see reset. Now, if we go to reset, you're going to see something here that says erase all content and settings. Now, we want to choose that option, but I will say this, just like Apple prompts you here, make sure, please don't come in the comments of this video and say, you made me erase my, my whole life, my pictures of my kids. Make sure you have an iCloud backup before erasing. So uh, if you haven't done that, you can click backup then erase. It'll automatically do an iCloud backup for you, but we've already done that. So we're gonna tap on erase now. And then it'll prompt you to type in your Apple ID password. And then once you've done that and tap erase, you are on the process of erasing the phone completely. So type in your password and we'll move on to the next step. All right, and once you have completely erased and reset your phone, it's gonna prompt you to basically set this iPhone or iOS device up. So go through all of the prompts, select your country, go to set up manually. When you go to the quick start, you wanna go ahead and choose a Wi-Fi network if you have one. Make sure you are going through and setting it up like you normally would. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set all of this stuff up later. And then once you get to the apps and data screen, this is going to be where all of the magic happens. Once you're here, it'll say, choose how you want to transfer apps and data to this iPhone. What we want to do, there's a couple of different options. You can restore from your Mac or PC if you've backed up via iTunes. I think that's probably gonna go away very soon. You can move data from an Android device or you can don't transfer anything and set it up as a new iPhone. But what we want to do is choose the restore from iCloud backup. It's then gonna ask you to sign in to your Apple ID, which is what we signed into earlier. Once you've typed in your email address and password, it will then ask you to verify by sending a code to another one of your devices, maybe your MacBook, maybe your old iPhone, maybe your Apple Watch, but some way they're trying to verify that you indeed want to set this up from your Apple ID. So make sure you go here, find that, type in the passcode or tap allow, 
And then once you type in that code, it'll automatically go to the terms and conditions, tap agree, and then it'll say, it may take a few minutes to set up your Apple ID. And then once you're logged in, it may ask you to type the password in for your other device, whether it be your MacBook or your other iPhone. So here, I'm gonna type in the password. Again, this is just another way for Apple to verify that it's you, because you don't want just anybody setting it up with your Apple ID from an iCloud backup. So type in the password here. And then once you're ready, you're going to see a list of backups. You're going to see the latest backup. So today at 4.38 p.m., Dusty's iPhone, which was the one we just saw before we erased the phone. Um, and so basically it's going to tell you what iPhone that's coming from. So if you have a previous iPhone, let's say you had an iPhone 8 and you're getting the new iPhone 11 or a future iPhone, you will see it under latest backup. So you want to do the latest backup. They'll also give you other backups from other devices like the iPad Pro, iPod Touch. I have way too many iDevices. Uh, or you could go to show all backups and it's gonna show you from you know the, the past devices that you may have had. So choose the most recent backup by tapping on it and then it'll say settings from your backup. You want to hit continue, don't change anything here. Um, and then you can go through and set up Siri later. You can set up the app analytics if that's something that you want to do. And then once you've gone through all of the rigmarole they're asking you to do, it's going to load and it's going to say uh, restoring from iCloud and it's gonna give you a time estimate of how long that will take. Now, if you've done everything right that I've showed you in this video, you should have your new phone running exactly like your old phone from the iCloud backup. So if you have any questions about this, feel free to put those in the comments section below. If this video helped you, don't forget to help me like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more great tech tutorial content like this. And I will see you guys in the next video.